Hello everyone, today we are making a simple incense resin uh, that you can burn and uh, preferably, well for me, I burn it in a shell, any kind of resin and uh, it's easy to uh, chip off of a shell, it's much harder to chip off bowls, even bronze. Uh, I use this shell for burning quite a few things and uh, I find it perfect for burning resins as well. It's easy to clean off, it's easy to chip off if necessary and um, this one will stick because it does have frankincense in it. So basically we're going to combine frankincense, which is, you can see the, um, the uses for it right there. Basically, uh, purification, a lot of the time it's used for exorcism, I guess you could say, and protection. But I use it for pur purification mainly. Uh, I burn this stuff just all the time. I burn frankincense in incense form usually. But, um, and we're going to be combining something that's far more delicate than the other two ingredients, angelica which I almost never use, but it's for very similar things that frankincense is used for, uh, purification protection. And uh, for some reason, Visions is attached to like a lot of ingredients that I don't usually associate with uh, from the Witch Supercenter, uh, as far as buying from them on Amazon. But, um, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of ingredients that can uh, attribute to Visions, especially one, if one is prone to it. Um, now... We're gonna be combining frankincense and angelica. And this is kind of what angelica looks like. Frankincense is that. It's already kind of in resin form in a way. Doesn't need much processing. And um, we're gonna combine it with uh, Himalayan pink salt, which is actually not, it's like five, 550 at Walmart. Uh, at least the one I got it from. And um, that's, I find that sea salt and black salt is extreme, extremely uh, good at um, just soaking the negative energy out of a space and uh, you know salt doesn't burn especially well this frankincense burns well after you torch it for a while and this angelica burns very quickly so this is a really interesting combination that I just wanted to try and uh, we'll go ahead and use my mortar and pestle and uh, grind it up I'd like to add the salt first because I feel like I feel like that might take more grinding and I'm just going to kind of grind it all together. I'm not going to grind it separately. And I'm not going to make a, a big amount. But, uh, you know, I want to I wanna be able to burn some right now. And then I also want to be able to keep some. You know what? Let's be smart about this. Just dump. There we go. All right, we'll put that aside. And it, this Himalayan pink salt is meant for cooking. So, I mean, it can be burned and it's safe for foods. Uh, now I'm gonna add the frankincense, which is already kind of in resin form, as you can see. It's processed in different ways. And I have more frankincense elsewhere in resin form, but it's combined with myrrh and it's uh, somewhere that I don't really uh, have time to look for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind these up first. Now, if you're gonna make a resin, if you want it to burn fast, you don't really grind it up that much. You don't really, you don't really process it like I'm doing right now to the ex to to a great extent because you want it to, you want to kind of let it burn slow if you're if you're gonna use it as a resin. But um, I kind of want to make it pretty fine because I don't want to I don't want to spend forever lighting it, and um, and that's what I'll have to do unless it's pretty fine. And the angelica should help the other two things kind of get some burning going on. Uh, the salt is is not going to burn well, but it adds a whole lot to uh, the spiritual uh, the energy of of this combination. And all three ingredients are basically safe to, though well, they are safe to burn. I wouldn't ingest frankincense. <laughs> Angelica shouldn't give you too many problems, but I mean, I'd, I'd look that up before I'd follow my advice on that. All right, so we have, you know, it's, it's, it's split up pretty good. I'm gonna put some Angelica in there, and then I'm gonna split it up some more, mush it down. That's, a, that's an intelligent word, mush. I'm just gonna mush it. So what'd you do tonight? Oh, I, I mushed some things together. Oh God, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? 
All right, let's add some Angelica in there. I want to add more than that. I feel like I didn't add enough. Okay, let's see if we can get this down to a good consistency, or at least the consistency that I want to have it at. Even if I didn't use this as a resin, which I am going to use it as a resin, I mean, I'm certain that it'll it'll catch uh, like a resin should anyway. But, um, usually, you know, sometimes you put resin on coals, but I tend to just like to toast things. You know, resins will catch eventually, but just don't expect them to, like, just go up as soon as you put a flame to it, because that's not really how resins work. Sure there's somebody out there that's like you're not using your mortar and pestle right and you know what I uh, I don't use a lot of things correctly <laughs> a lot of the time I, uh, I do stuff on the fly and I've just had amazing luck uh, you can call it intuition uh, I like to think of it as intuition but I'm not gonna put that label on it because I I'm not really certain well kind of my Hamingja, which is a kind of earned luck, I guess you could say. Well, Hamingja, first of all, is is uh, it's kind of the northern shamanistic tradition. Uh, it's part of, I guess you could say, very closely tied to runes and uh, Norse uh, mythology and energies. I don't want to, like, grind this forever on camera, so what we're going to do... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put some of the shell and uh, we'll catch it. I'll probably gl grind this up some more a bit, but um, just for the purposes of this video, let me let me see if this will light nice and good for everybody. Yeah, you can already smell that frankincense burning. Well, I can, you can't. If you could, that'd be amazing. If this just blew up on my face, it'd be super embarrassing. I mean, you know, dying would be bad, but being embarrassed, oh, that's so much worse. Yeah, that frankincense resin's gonna it's wanting to crackle. Oh yes. You know what? That is that is a great combination. Look everybody, my Haminja worked out again. That frankincense resin is actually wanting to catch more than the uh Angelica, which isn't what I expected with the salt in there. Just kinda blow it out once it catches. Then you have yourself a, a smoke consistency that you would use for bursts. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily go under the cloak with this, put a cloak over your head and just inhale it in uh, unless you unless you really want to uh, kind of have a, a definite effect on your mind. But um, if you had this in short bursts whenever you're doing a ceremony or a ritual, or if uh, or if you just you just want to have a little extra. A uh, little extra energy to uh, to your day or whatever whatever you're doing in your life. Um, I'd grind this up. You know, the consistency needs to be a little bit more than a little bit finer than uh, what I had in the sh in in the shell. Uh, this consistency is a little bit better in, in some of this, but it needs to be ground up a little bit more. And then you'll have a, a very good um, very good substance to work with when you're burning. Uh, but overall, I think this was a success. I mean, just the amount of smoke that I got from it. It's a heavy frankincense smell, but it's also the edge is taken off by the angelica, and the the salt adds a little bit of a little bit of purity to the air. If that makes any sense, you can kind of feel it. Um, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And once again, I combined frankincense, kind of in resin form, angelica, which is an herb basically, and. Um, Himalayan pink salt.
which you can find online or at grocery store. Well, not all grocery stores have it, but many do. But uh, hey, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate your view. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot them down there in the comment section. Y'all have a great one.